Oh, man. <laughs> I got my questions together. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is your boy, Jatande, all right? I'm pleased to have my brother from Joy FM in the building. Babe, who tell you you can sing, babe? Kirk Franklin. <laughs> Kirk Franklin tell you you can sing. He's cussing now, so you better hit that note. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, these words best describe my brother, all right? Compassionate, passionate, multifaceted, a licensed minister since 2005, by the way. Also, my fellow Radio House brother at Joy FM. Please welcome Ricardo Clark. Hey. Welcome, my brother. Yes. Welcome to the table. Yeah. Listen, uh, these questions, we're going to get in depth about where you started to where you are right now. All right. So let's go back on that journey. You had a thriving career in the insurance industry. Yes, sir. But, you know, ultimately achieving your status as uh, assistant district manager. Who or what? was the driving force that altered your path towards making the leap from insurance policies to music and ministry? Well, it's all about service in my life. Um, that's all it's really been about. So I guess for me, understanding that at some point, mm -hmm. at some point in my journey, it just became about wanting more for my life, wanting to do more. And um, that's basically what it, what it came down to. I mean, the business I was in, it was just all about numbers, performance, money, definitely helping persons with the insurance product, but uh, I just felt a deeper call to be of greater service. That's right. Numbers can't measure up to souls. No, I appreciate it. That, that, that's, that's priceless. That's per that, listen, that's powerful. Yeah. So listen, your messages of unity and self-strength, love, and God has spread widely throughout the world through your travels. And uh, you've been nominated numerous times for prestigious achievement awards in your musical uh, career, including the bah Bahamian Icon Award. And uh, you actually won the Caribbean Gospel Music Marlin, and that's a first for a Bahamian artist. Yeah, absolutely. What does that mean to you? Yeah, it, I mean, it's always good to break new ground. It means that it's going to make the road easier for somebody else. Uh, certainly, I don't want to be alone in that, that area. <laughs> certainly, it would be a blessing to have other Bahamians come along. But I guess to break new ground, to be acknowledged, to be recognized is definitely a pleasure. Listen, you've shared the stages with the likes of Marvin Winans, also Taurus Riley, Barris Harmon, yeah. and Grammy Award winning artist Kiki. Listen, and that's only to name a few. So, my question is, What's next for Ricardo Clark? Like, who do you look most forward to working with internationally and domestically to continue to spread your message? Now, here's the twist. I think at this point, uh, I love music and I will continue to do music, um, traveling, and when the country opens back up, I'll definitely be on a plane somewhere, right? <laughs> but I think my greatest desire at this moment is to, to pour my energies into my nonprofit. So I'm going to really be sharing the stage in my time with more like-minded persons just so I can build that area to be of greater service there. Music ain't going nowhere. I love it. I will continue to do it. I actually got a song that we just released. Oh yeah. Uh, Can't keep a good man down. Uh, you could go download that. <laughs> Listen to me. I wear, I wear a t-shirt all the time, bro. Yeah. <laughs> and I, look, I, appreciate, I appreciate the support so, so, so much. And that's what it's all about. So I'm going to be sharing the stage with with other persons who have nonprofits, uh, incorporated uh, efforts of charity, whatever the effort is, whether it's a nonprofit, you're part of a church, an outreach ministry, it's really about finding how could we serve mankind in a deeper and a greater way. So that's my passion at this point. And by the way, the name of his nonprofit, which was, by the way, founded in 2017, that's called the Occupy Mentorship Program. Yeah. It is nonprofit, and that's pretty much the uh, common goal of this nonprofit organization. Yeah. So you've been working along with the kids, mentor, uh, mentoring them and encouraging them, especially with kids in the urban areas who may have a, a rougher life, even kids in high school who probably have a better upbringing. What message would you like to leave with our youth today? Well, it's really about you knowing who you are and finding your space to occupy. That's the nuts and bolts of my mentorship program. And, you know, given that I'm a minister, we've been doing this work for years, right? So the nonprofit part was just to establish myself to gain a little more respect in the areas of grants and foundations and getting some subsidy for the things that we do. Uh, just formalizing it, because we are an incorporated nonprofit. 
recognized by the government of the Bahamas. So it's really about ensuring that kids recognize that they have a place to occupy and they can be a productive part of society. My brother Ricardo Clark, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a pleasure talking to you, man. We wish you the best of luck and success. And of course, you know what? We're definitely going to be behind you 100% because you are, you're our brother from another mother. Yeah. He's already a house brother at Joy FM. Ricardo Clark, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Ricardo Clark again. Don't forget to check out my brand new song, Can't Keep a Good Man Down, on Apple Music and all of the music outlets in the digital world. I also want you to check out my mentorship program, Occupy Mentorship Program. We have lots of stuff that's happening uh, as the country opens up. It's going to be amazing. So follow us there as well, too. We also have a private coaching section. So for persons who may need a safe space to discuss matters that will improve, uh, that will clear the air, whatever it is, you can call me at 426-5094 or you can email us at occupymentorshipprogram at gmail.com.